Choosing between an ottoman and a coffee table is hard. They both have many great features. To make a decision, think about what's important in your life. If your favorite part of the day is putting your feet up and watching TV, an ottoman might take your relaxation and enjoyment to the next level. On the other hand, if you love to gather friends for drinks, they need to put their glasses somewhere. A coffee table will also do a better job of preventing spills. A coffee table is a small, low table that sits in the center of a seating area. They usually match the height of the couch or sofa seat. While people can and do eat off of coffee tables, they are a little awkward for this purpose due to their low profile. The main purpose of the coffee table is storage, both permanent and temporary. The coffee table is a place to stash your remote controls, books, magazines, or anything else that is useful to have within arm's reach of the couch. It can also be used to hold snacks and drinks while socializing or watching a movie in the living room. Apart from the table surface, some models may feature smaller shelves underneath or drawers to keep things out of sight. Coffee tables are available in a range of styles and sizes and can be used in casual or formal settings. Read more about different styles of sofas here. The most obvious advantage is right there in the name it provides a stable surface for drinks like your morning cup of coffee. When spills inevitably happen, they are easy to wipe up without long-term damage to the table. You may need to use a coaster to protect the surface of a wood coffee table. Coffee tables are made from durable materials such as glass, wood, metal, and marble. There is no fabric to fray or tear. A quality coffee table can be expected to last 10, 20 years. An oval coffee table is a great solution for a small space, with the rounded corners allowing additional room to navigate. As long as there is adequate space to move around your coffee table, it can be used to make your living room look larger. Can get in the way. If you have a coffee table, eventually you're going to bang into it. Whether your knee, shin, or toe takes the brunt of the impact is all that's up for debate. Because hard materials such as glass are traditionally used to construct coffee tables. When you bump into it, it hurts. To avoid this as much as possible, ensure you have enough room to get around the coffee table without tripping. A good rule of thumb, your coffee table should have a minimum of 16 inches of clearance on every side. Not only are coffee tables hard, they usually have sharp edges and pointy corners. So pointy, in fact, the coffee table corner covers are a popular baby-proofing product. Curious but wobbly toddlers might strike their heads on the coffee table as they take a tumble, which is one reason some parents opt for an ottoman instead. An ottoman is a low, upholstered, backless piece of furniture that can be sat upon or used as a footstool. They tend to be square or rectangular in shape, though circular or oval styles are also available. While the trend of using an ottoman in place of a coffee table has taken off in recent years, the style of furniture has roots in the Ottoman Empire. Turks in the 1700s were observed to use low upholstered chairs as footstools, and the idea spread throughout the world from there. An ottoman is a multi-purpose piece of living room furniture and can be used as a footstool, texture place to sit, or as a coffee table. Ottomans blend comfort and elegance, less fussy than an ornate coffee table but more formal than a beanbag chair. This versatile piece of furniture has a place in any home. Some models can be opened like a box with storage for extra blankets and pillows hidden inside. You can kick your feet up while relaxing on your sectional sofa or couch on a more comfortable surface than a coffee table. Ottomans are always upholstered. Like any piece of upholstered furniture, keeping it clean is a major concern. Pretreating your ottoman with a protective spray or spill coating can give you peace of mind. You'll want to wipe up spills quickly to avoid staining. When your ottoman starts to show wear and tear, you will have to replace it or pay for you full stirring, which is an additional expense. Ottomans tend to be a bit bulky and dense, and can be difficult to rearrange without help, limiting their versatility. Visually, an ottoman blocks the floor underneath and the couch behind it, which can make the room feel crowded. Ottomans got their start as footstools, and many people enjoy using them for this purpose. However, if you want to use them as a coffee table, you will need to add some kind of hard surface. A tray is ideal for this purpose, as it can be easily moved somewhere else if you want to put your feet up. Look for a tray that takes up less than half of the surface area of the ottoman, and you can have the best of both worlds. Hybrid ottomans are another great choice. A hybrid ottoman usually has storage inside. The lid can be lifted and flipped over, exposing a tray or hard surface on the other side. Or, if you want a footstool, but aren't ready to ditch your coffee table, look for upholstered cubes. These are less expensive than ottomans and may be small enough to stow under the table.
Now it's your turn. Which one impresses you the most? Let us know in the comment section below. Also, do share and subscribe to our channel for further video notifications.